All right, welcome guys. Today we're doing a video over here in Ayotia. Anyway, we're just north of the main island of Ayotia. We're across the Labri River. We're at Wat Chern Ta, which uh, it's a temple that's had a bunch of different names. It's an active temple, but it still has like the, the ruins and stuff like that. They're uh, not exactly sure when this temple was built. Uh, again, whenever Ayotia was destroyed, most of the uh, records and stuff like that was, uh, was destroyed all also but anyway there was supposedly like the the way it goes is that this uh, wealthy guy he uh, had a daughter that he elop eloped or ran away with her uh, her boyfriend and he was really sad so he came here and he built like a monastery on this site right here and he was waiting for her to come back and she never did so then he ordered it to be like constructed into a temple and it was called Wat Goi Ta meaning the waiting and then it's uh, changed names a few times since then. It's been Wat Tin Ta, Wat Tin, Wat Klang, Wat Kosa Wat, and just a bunch of different names. Uh, but anyway, in the uh, the era of Rama IV is when they've renamed it its current name, or Wat Chern Ta. And I'm not exactly sure what that means. But anyway, this temple here, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's still an active temple. There's still monks that are here doing their thing. It has a lot of history. It has, uh, as you can see behind me, it has like the uh, the prong that's in the early Ayotia style. So if it's early Ayotia style, it's whenever whenever the city of uh, Ayotia was first founded. So you'll see a lot of the Khmer influence because uh, the Khmer, you know, they weren't much removed from Ayotia uh, around that time period. So anyway, uh, there's the history about it has like where uh, King Taxon the Great studied at this uh, monastery. So uh, anyway, uh, well, let's look around and uh, let's see what we see. So here is part of the ruin and you can see the prong and then you can see some of the smaller little chetties over here. And uh, it's right next to like uh, what used to be the uh, the uh, like a shipyard. There was a canal that was to the west over here and then to the south of it. So the temple used to face towards the south and it was an easy crossing for the ferry from the uh, Lobbury River. So it was a very popular temple at the time. So let's take a look over here at the Lobbury River and then we'll look at the, uh, the temple. You see here they have like the Garuda with all the seated Buddhas. There's a bunch of stuff at this temple, which it's really neat. So here is the Lotbury River. Looks like we got a guy over here fishing. So right here is the boundary. That's the island of Ayutthaya. And then uh, it runs in. There's like the Prasart River and uh, Chao Praya that separates the, the mainland from the Ayutthaya island. And over here they have like a little footbridge built. So got a guy here fishing. Got some more people over here that were feeding the fish. And you can take a tour around this island on a boat, which I've done that. It's in my playlist. It's really, really, really fun. So here's a two-story sermon hall. Now this was built by King Rama IV. Now after the Burmese sacked Ayutthaya, this temple was abandoned. And then they started using it again under the reign of King Rama IV. And it has some murals and stuff painted inside. So it'll have the, uh, like the depictions of like the Buddha's life, the 10 virtues, his battle with Satan and all of that. And it's supposed to also have like uh, some scenes of like the daily villagers life. You can see this is Rama IV stuff, which is getting pretty old. So the murals are, pretty faded you can't see a whole lot of it and then you can see the murals on like the wood shutters and the thatched throne oh, that's really cool it has like a wood floor wood bench here this is for the monks to sit on when they're doing their ceremonies oh that's really cool you see how they do the wood shutters they just roll them up and then they tie a rope off Oh, that's neat. We got a little lizard hanging out here, getting some, getting a snack. Yeah, this is a really cool building. And you can see more of the murals and the wood roof. Yeah, this is a cool, cool building. <laughs> kind of the rickety floors. 
And you can see over here, got some ladies doing some Instagram picture stuff. So anyway, this is where the monk will come and sit when he's given his sermons, when he's talking about the Buddha. You can see, that's really, really cool. And then they have uh, that big one right there. It's like the thatched throne. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's got a little boat plugging on by. He's got his uh, shade built on top. You know, right outside of that little sermon hall is this other building that's pretty neat looking. I've never seen one built like this. And uh, they have the, the blinds and stuff closed right now, but it's attached to the back of this sermon hall. So I don't know if it was a place for like the monks to come and stay or what. But it's uh, kind of shaped on this side. It looks kind of like the junk, like the boat. So it's uh, it's pretty neat. All right, so let's go over there and let's look at the run of that pond. You can see a couple more of the little boats. That one looks like a little tour that's going. And then this guy over here, not sure what they do. A lot of these guys will come over here to the river and they'll like dive down and they'll try to find like ancient treasures and stuff that's uh, submerged in the bottom of the river. Okay, so right over here next to the old, old ruin, they have all these stupas. So there's a couple different uh, styles. You can see that they have like the prong style, which will be like the Khmer influence. And then they have the bell style, which will be more like the Sri Lankan style. And uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. And they've, uh, oh, there's quite a bit of detail still on the top of that one right there. So you can see where they've wrapped it. And then you can see all the plaster detail at the top. Wow, that's in great shape. So they've added these at various times. So these will be like important people that were like, uh, that donated money and stuff like that for the upkeep of the temple. And so when they die, they can put their ashes and they can build like a little, like a little chetty over here. And there's quite a few of them in various shape, various states of repair. And then here you can see the principal student, stupa. And uh, you can see up at the top, they still have some of the uh, some of what's left of the Buddha and stuff like that in there yeah that is fantastic so it has a stairwell right on the side on the west side and you can get up here and you can see what's left of the walls and it would have had the uh, roof supports here and they're gone so this would have been built right up to the like that uh, prong and you can see the, the little thing up at the top. I don't know what they call that. I've seen that on a few of them. You don't see it on all of them, but you see it on, on some. Wow, this was really neat. And then it has the standing Buddhas over here. Wow, this is really great. Oh, it has a Buddha head. Oh, and there's like a little gate back behind where the, uh, the principal Buddha image would have been. And it still has quite a bit of the detail. It has a chain hanging from there. I don't know what that represents. Maybe you can tell me in the comments if you know. And you can see the what's left of the Buddha here. Yeah, so they have a gate. So probably you could get back and see the relics and stuff like that. So they also had like a wooden, like a wooden structure that would have been around like the Buddha that was on the wall here. And then you can see that they put these modern ones. But this is the, like the original sandstone Buddha. Or it's not sandstone, it would have been bricks with uh, plaster molding around it. And then that one there. You can see kind of how it's framed around it also, but with the plaster. Okay, so this is the east wall of that prayer hall. And then you can see how it's built right onto that prong kind of bright looking up in towards the sun there yeah that is really really cool and then it has another little Buddha standing over here that was in a little hall and then it has the bell tower that's right here and then you can see the boundary wall and stuff that was around the old temple now there's another little uh, building right here and it doesn't I don't know if we can get into that but you can see uh, kind of how it's shaped like a boat right here. And then you can see the, uh, the window seals. 
and it looks like there's a Buddha up inside. Okay, so it has a stairwell on the north side of this little building. And then you can see the piers, and they were uh, built like an octagon. And there was two of them, so it would have had the roof coming off of that prong, and it would have had a Buddha here, and then some more in the molding. So it would have been some more of the standing Buddha, and then you'd have been able to see right up to that, uh, that prong. Yeah, this is fantastic. This one here, the, the Buddha that was on the wall is completely gone. So looking at that prong, this is on the north side of it. This is the part you first see when you come in from the road. And it's opposite of the, uh, the river. So it has a little room that was built here. And it looks like it would have been covered also with two more of these uh, piers. And then that would have been able to look into like the relic hall. There's a little window there. And the Buddha, you can see how it was uh, kind of in that little indentation there. And then they had two more. They have this one here. Looks like the head is gone and the legs are gone. And the same over here, it has one hand that's still intact. Yeah, this is really a nice temple. And then uh, over here on the west side, they had a Buddha, a seated Buddha right there. And then two more of the standing Buddhas. And then that was the, uh, the main hall on the south side. And you could see the two little windows that would have been able to get into that relic hall. And some people have came over here and they put a couple little like images. I don't know if that's uh, Taxon or who that is on the horse. And they have a, a little spirit house. It has a Bodai tree. And then you can see the, the wall, the perimeter wall over there. Now it has this hall right here that will have like a Buddha in it, but it's close. I don't know if the monks are doing like a ceremony or what. And then you can see the uh, marker stones Looks like the marker stone is missing here. And then you can see how this is built. Also like you see an IOTS style where this will be built like a boat. Yeah, and then it has this little courtyard. There's that hall with the silver Buddha in it. And then all of those uh, little prongs. That's yeah, a shame, I would like to see what this one looks like. And here's the gate that you would have been able to come through. It's missing the little archway on the top. And then the, like the lower inner wall. Yeah, and you can definitely see how it looks like a boat. Those are uh, like the style you see there for this uh, ordination hall is the uh, later Ayutthaya style. So right up front, uh, close to the road, is this little... Uh, like shrine for this Freme Torani, or however you say it. But it's the, uh, you see this quite a bit. You'll see this uh, this woman right here, and it's uh, tied into the ceremony or the, the belief of like Buddha pouring water on the ground. And then uh, like, there was so much water that came out of her hair due to like Buddha getting like the 10 principles or of enlightenment or whatever. That that's what formed the seas and it flooded the uh, the world and made uh, made the oceans and then pushed uh, Satan away and that's uh, what that is set up for and then right over there they have a Ganesh which is uh, one of the like the Hindu elephant god and then you're looking back over here so they have uh, one of the monks over there with a little bit of this the shrine. Let's look at the uh, mother kitty over here, nursing. And then uh, one of the monks, he was uh, blessing one of the amulets over here. All right, let's go into the other part. So you have here, this is part of the active temple. So you have the guardians, you have the chickens. Right over there is the crematorium. And here people will come and uh, pray to these Buddha statues. They have the drums and then they have uh, like a statue for King Taxon right there. And he studied at this temple when he was just uh, Tak, I believe, or maybe his name was Sin. Maybe, I think it was, yeah, it was Sin. And then he later got the, uh, like the Prasat Taxon. 
you have a little reclining Buddha with the old man Buddha and a couple other things with the behind the screens. You can't really see them. I'm not sure what this is about here with this, uh, this guy. He's dressed up in like the, uh, like the lady monk's robes. And we're here we have a lady monk with the uh, Chinese goddess, the Guan Yin. And then here you have the Ganeshas. Let's go into this other little hall over here. So here you have the Buddha with the Naga behind. You have a gold Buddha statue here. So the Thais will come and put the gold leaf on this Buddha. Now at this, uh, this temple, I believe the ashes of uh, King Narai's wet nurse is uh, buried somewhere inside of this temple. King Narai was like the warrior king of Thailand. He's one of the great kings. And then all of this stuff was uh, built here, like under King Rama IV, when they uh, came back over and started using this temple again. Wow, and this is really nice in here. Okay, so it has the mural paintings. And I believe these, right above the windows, are like some of the, uh, like the virtues, like the 10 scenes that uh, Buddha has to have to, uh, to reach enlightenment. And here, this is the main Buddha in this hall. And then it has some of the stuff like the lucky amulets. Try not to get too much wind from those fans. Yeah, this is really nice. These murals are really, really nice. There was a sign outside talking about that the uh, former abbot at this temple is the one that painted them in the 1800s. Him and another guy are the one that painted them. So you have the scene here. So you see Buddha and you see how you can see his skeleton. So what happened was he was praying, trying to reach enlightenment and he didn't move at all. And he just became like bones and sinew. And that's when the devil was trying to tempt him. And he kept praying. He had his discipline to keep praying and to not be tempted. Yeah, this is really a nice little hall. Buddha's here. Oh, and they even have a Buddha footprint. So here's a Buddha footprint. It's not the uh, actual Buddha footprint itself, but they say that the Buddha had like such an impact on nature and you'll see like uh, Buddha footprints in rocks and stuff like that and uh, different body parts like maybe a handprint or, but the footprint is what you see more often than not. And then the main Buddha here. Yeah, this is a beautiful hall. And it's made out of like a, looks like volcanic rock almost outside. It's a different style than you normally see because they didn't cover it in the, uh, in the plaster. And over here, you can see they got the wood shutters. And over here, this is where the, the monks will sit and do like the blessing. He's got his little reeds and he'll, he'll throw like the water on people and they'll leave him a little donation. And you can see how the brick, it's a definitely a different looking brick than what you normally see because they usually will cover it with the plaster. But this one, they left the raw brick and they still did like these beams and stuff which is plaster with the, uh, like these little decorative things that you'll see. And this is the side of that building. So that's the second story where they have uh, the Buddha and stuff. And then down on the ground floor down here, this is the, like some of the monk quarters. And then it has some more monk quarters over, uh, over there next to the crematorium for the ones that are here in residence. All right guys, so that finishes up our little tour here of Wat Chung Da or uh, some of the many named temples that they've uh, they've had it over the years but a current iteration is Chung Ta. this is a really nice temple i'm uh, really happy to come over here i had one of my viewers that uh, suggested coming over here making a temple a video of this temple i've been by it a few times i just haven't had time to do a video and i made time today so anyway hopefully you like it this is a really really cool place with the uh the old uh like the Khmer style prong 
and some of the different stuff, the murals and everything, definitely worth a stop. And I talked to a couple of Thai people that were out here and even a lady that's from uh, Vietnam, she's here looking at this today. So it's definitely worth a visit. I would highly recommend it. And uh, so anyway, if you like the video, make sure you click like and uh, share it with your friends. And uh, the most help you can do is subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I need the subscriptions. So uh, do that if you would like and you get notified when I post new content. And um, if you want to know something more or if you've been here, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Uh, or if you want me to go do something different, tell me in a comment also and I'll do my best. So as always, guys, remember, life is a journey. So until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.